So as many of you um, might know, I, um, I grew up in New Jersey, and um, my mom is here tonight with a lot of her friends, and my in-laws are here. They're from New Jersey, and I went to a lot of uh, plays growing up and to a lot of different um, concerts. I was kind of lucky in that regard. And so um, I started out thinking that I was going to be an actor on Broadway. And while I was studying to become an actor, I was playing piano in a piano rooms, hotel lobbies, and piano bars all over New York. And um, well, my career kind of took a left turn, and here I am. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of um, a little bit from the book. Um, this chapter is called Behind the Fourth Wall. And it's um, just a little insight as to what made me fall in love with the theater to begin with. For my sixth birthday, we went to the Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn, New Jersey to see Sleeping Beauty. I invited six girls from my class. I don't know where they found a real prince and a real princess to be in the show, but they did. Right during the climax of the play, when the prince comes to wake Sleeping Beauty with a kiss, the most unusual and amazing thing happened. The fourth wall disappeared. Prince faced the audience and asked if there was anyone out there in the audience who knew how to wake the sleeping princess. The lights in the house came up and a few hundred little hands shot up. The kids began yelling right to the prince. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Oh, the prince said, you think I should kiss her to wake her up? Yes, we shouted, yes. I think there's only one person in this audience who could help me, and that is a birthday girl named Robin Spielberg. What? Where's Robin? Will Robin please come up here and help me wake the sleeping princess? My mother, smiling and beaming, stood up and helped me up to the aisle. I was in such shock, I don't remember leaving my seat. Before I knew it, I was not only on the stage, but also in the arms of the prince. He picked me up. I was wearing a poofy party dress, and I was wondering if my underwear was showing. While I was in his arms, the prince said, Robin, the audience thinks we should kiss the sleeping princess to wake her up. Do you agree? I nodded, tugging on my party dress, trying to get my panties covered. Was I wearing white ones or yellow? Together with the handsome prince still holding me, we leaned over. I touched my lips to the cheek of the beautiful blonde sleeping princess, and then the prince touched his lips to hers. Her eyes began to flutter. I think it's working, he declared. The audience cheered. I was released below the lip of the stage into the arms of my waiting father. When he put me down, I ran back to my seat. The play resumed but I don't remember anything past that moment of being held by the prince. My face felt hot. He picked me. How did he know it was my birthday? How did he know it was my name? The magic of the theater had me at hello. So I'm gonna share with you now, because um, I've been such a show tune girl over the years. This is something you might recognize from one of my favorite shows. Um, this is from the King and I. <laughs> <laughs> 